Put a finger down if the Miami-Dade Police Department calls you and tells you that they have recovered your husband's body and he is dead by apparent suicide. So you and your family plan his funeral. And everyone is shocked that this happened. But you're on bad terms with your ex-husband's family, so you stay in California and they stay in Florida while they plan the funeral. And you don't go to the services in Florida because his family said it would be way too traumatic if you were to show up because you guys were on bad terms because you were in the middle of a divorce with your husband. So throughout this entire process, you talk to a coroner's office, you talk to a funeral home, you make arrangements, you even pay for things. And you believe that on January 22nd, your husband took his life and it is now March. And you spend months grieving and you even think about unaliving yourself because you feel like you're the one that did it. And one day you go on live on TikTok and someone tells you to check your DMs because they have information regarding your husband. And you open the DM only to find out that your husband is not only alive, but he is living in Mexico with his mistress of six years, who he's been having an affair with. 